Good morning everybody. Dr. Pradeep Srinivasan from Bangalore under the REFER series. REFER stands for Radiology Education for Enhancement of Radiologists. So today we are going to see a 12 week fetus with few interesting signs in it. We are all obsessed in getting a mid sagittal zoomed picture of the fetal face and upper chest as shown here. So for the beginner this may look normal. There is a normal NB, there is a normal NT and otherwise the facial profile looks normal, upper chest looks normal, looks fine. But I will zoom into the posterior fossa. Now see that instead of three lucencies and two lines, we have two lucencies and single line. So this is called as the single line sign. The first lucency is the pons or brain stem, second lucency is the cisterna magna. So the fourth ventricle or intracranial translucency is completely obliterated. Now let us learn to do some calculations. So we have the brain stem and the vertical distance of the brain stem is called as BS. Then the distance between anterior part of the brain stem to the occipital bone is called BSO that is brain stem occipital distance. So a ratio of brain stem to brain stem occipital distance can be done. Normally the brain stem is slightly smaller than this. Brain stem occipital distance is larger than this. So BS by BO is a small number. Now in this condition the BS increases, BSO decreases, so BS by BO ratio increases. So that is the next finding. Then we draw a line from the anterior end of maxilla parallel to the maxilla up to the occipital bone. So this is called the maxillo occipital line and you can see that the brain stem to midbrain junction is below the maxillo occipital line. Normally it should be above. So this is the next sign. The maxillo occipital sign. Next we have the crash sign. In the axial view that is the posterior end of mesencephalon with the aqueduct. So the distance between aqueduct and occiput can be measured. So this aqueduct to occipital distance is reduced. So this is called as the crash sign. It is as if the brain posteriorly is crashing against the occiput. That is the cine loop showing the mid sagittal view with a clear cut single line sign in the posterior fossa with two lucencies and absence of the third lucency which is an obliteration of intracranial translucency. That is an axial section of the brain again showing two lucencies and single line in the posterior fossa. You can see the first lucency is the brain stem, second is the cisterna magna and there is complete obliteration of intracranial translucency. So what do these signs tell us? These signs tell us that the markers of open neural tube defect have been found in the brain and it is not surprising that the spine is completely distorted. There is a lumbosacral kyphoscoliosis and multi-level spina bifida. So in this scenario we will not be able to get a normal CRL because there is kyphoscoliosis and in the mid sagittal plane we will not be able to show any good part of the anatomy of the spine because it is off the mid sagittal plane. It is a routine 
in the first trimester to look for the cardia. So we have labeled the right and left of this fetus. This is the right side and that's the left side and you can see that the four chambers are pointing to the right side. There are two ventricles. Both the ventricles are receiving blood. With, they are in red color but the apex is pointing to the right so there is a dextrocardia. Now you look at the outlets. Whenever the apex points to the right, the outlets also should point to the left. But here the there are two outlets, they are pointing to the left side. So we have dextrocardia with I think left sided aortic arch. Now you look at the color in the four chambers and you will realize that in the right chamber there is a blue amidst the red at the level of the atrioventricular groove so there is a tricuspid regurgitation. We do a Doppler on the blue color as shown here and then it is not surprising there is a large pansystolic tricuspid regurgitation with velocity above 100 cm. Since there is dextrocardia we immediately search for situs inverses but you can see that the stomach bubble is on the left side. So you may be thinking there is diaphragmatic hernia because the heart and the stomach are shown together. That is not true because of the because of the kyphosis the stomach seems to be in the chest. This is validated by a mid sagittal plane where you can see the bright hyperechoic lung is in the thorax and the stomach is below the thorax so there is no diaphragmatic hernia. The upper limbs were normal, the lower limbs were normal, the cord insertion was normal, there was a three vessel cord. So this is a case of open neural tube defect with kyphoscoliosis spina bifida resulting in leakage of CSF into the amniotic fluid, descent of posterior fossa contents into upper spine resulting in compression and obliteration of fourth ventricle which is recognized as inability to measure the intracranial translucency which is recognized as loss of double line sign and presence of single line sign, crash sign, maxillo occipital sign, alteration of BSBO ratio. Also this fetus had dextrocardia with left sided descending iota. So this tells us that there are enormous number of findings and signs in a fetus which can be picked up as early as 12 to 13 weeks if we know about them and if we look for them. This was the second opinion. The only finding given in the outside report was open neural tube defect and there are so many other things which can be seen is what is in this small video. Thank you very much. Students interesting, interested in learning more can register for refer series. Thank you very much. Dr. Pradeep Srinivasan from Bangalore. Happy learning. Jai Hind.